social class is central to structuring today's economies. It is also one of the most important concepts for sociological research. But what exactly is social class? The concept of social class seeks to capture the ways people are differentiated into identifiable groups within societies. Some people often reduce social class to simplistic indicators of economic status. But the differences underlying social class are not given uniquely by income or wealth, but rather by how people form groups given their common experiences, personal trajectories, habits, and dispositions. Social class is, in this sense, a concept that captures social, cultural, and economic patterns and how these appear as visible structures in the social world. One way of thinking about social class is by going back to the early work of the renowned economist and sociologist Thorstein Veblen. For Veblen, the forms of stratification that we observe in modern industrial societies are grounded on long-standing cultural divisions between the rich and the poor, the elites and the populace, the aristocracy and the people. As societies change, higher status groups retain their distinctiveness and showcase their resources by engaging in specific displays of group belonging. Veblen talks of two examples, conspicuous leisure and conspicuous consumption. Consider the types of sports we associate with wealth, things like polo and golf. Both are built around exclusivity. They require expensive equipment, you really can't play polo without a horse, membership of expensive organizations, abiding to strict dress codes, and extensive time for leisure activities. Consider also dwellings. Luxury homes often have extensive investments in spaces dedicated for leisure, from living rooms to garden promenades decorated in neoclassical styles, despite the fact that extensive research shows that most families and most people seldom use these spaces. Rather than being built for use, these luxurious spaces are meant to display wealth and status in connection to leisure. In addition to demonstrations of leisure, social class is also signaled by forms of consumption that display wealth. These forms of conspicuous consumption are not only about function, but also about showing the ability to buy into a specific group in society. This shopper tote bag by the Spanish designer Balenciaga provides a great example. With a price tag of more than $2,000, it performs the exact same function and has a very similar physical format to a much cheaper bag from IKEA. The bag is not only meant to operate as a bag, it is also meant to work as an indicator of belonging to a high status group. Veblen provides some indications of how social class is patterned. It is not only about an ability to buy expensive things or engage in leisurely activities, but also an outward demonstration of belonging to a group. As we will see, these initial insights can help us build a more complex and more complete idea of social class that takes into account economic, social, and cultural resources and competencies.